Hello and welcome to Elementary STEM. Today we are going to be designing sledding hills and we're going to be creating these using our Kiva Plank blocks as well as some other random shaped blocks that I have laying around because I inherit these from a lot of other teachers so they become part of our collection in here. Now this year we have not had an easy time sledding because it is almost February and it is finally snowing. We have a little bit of snow cover of a couple inches on the ground right now. Normally by now we would have about a foot of snow and we would have had snow on the ground for two months, but not this year. So we decided to make these icy sledding slopes so that we could do some sledding inside the classroom. And our sled is going to be a ping pong ball and the sledding hill needs to go from one end of the table to the other end of the table. So it's not just a ramp at one end and then your ball just rolls to the other end of the table. There needs to be some sort of a structure built from one end of the table to the other. And our tables are about five feet long in this classroom. And then to add a little bit of challenge to this lesson, there are two things that you can do for extra credit. One is to work a ramp into your sledding hill so that the ball goes down, hits the ramp, goes up, gets a little bit of air. That would, that's always fun if you can find that or build that into your own sledding hills. The second is that your sledding hill has a little bit of a twist or turn to it. Now it doesn't have to be a 90 degree turn. We're not like changing directions completely. Just a little bit of a twist or turn to give it a little bit more interest as your sled is going down the hill. You need to start with a steep hill in the beginning because if you don't get enough energy built up, by the time your sled starts hitting the flatter part of your hill, it's going to stop sledding. So you need to get as much energy into this movement as possible in the beginning. So you want a real steep hill, almost like a roller coaster at the beginning. The first hill is always the steepest. Same thing on your sledding hill. Start with a really steep hill to begin with so that the ball has enough energy to make it to the other end of the table. Good luck. 